Hello and welcome back to my channel Anti Confusion. So today we will create one application using Microsoft Azure SSO. So let's begin. Let's move to Azure AD and do single sign on. For that we have to move on to their home page and do sign in. And you can see here on clicking this logo, we will see the Azure portal link here. So let's move on to Azure portal. Now, since we are in Azure portal, so we have to create one AD that is Active Directory, Azure Active Directory application. So we will move on to this and here we will select and before that you can see name, tenant ID, primary domain, license and so much information. So once you will create your own account, you will see all this information like tenant ID and uh, primary domain. So once you will create your account, you will see this like I have one application here and I have six users which I have already created. And you also can see that I have Azure AD free account. It is not any professional account, it is free account. So I'm just giving a demo. So let's move on to enterprise application. And inside, we have to select, as you can see, I have an application also, which I've showed earlier. And now we have to select new application. So once we will go on new application, we have to follow this. We have to create, click on create your own application and select the third option that says integrate any other application you don't find in the gallery. That is non-gallery application. And non-gallery application means the application which is not provided by the Microsoft Azure so we are creating our own application so now let's enter the application name like test and saml okay let's take it all caps caps and click on create application it will take some time and now it is created you can see application added successfully and here are the few things which you have to note that is application ID and object ID. We don't have to use it, but we will uh, note it somewhere. So after noting down all these things, sorry for that. After noting down all these things, we have to perform next steps that is assigning user and groups and set up single sign on that is SSO. So let's do all these things on our next video. Thank you. And if you like this video, please click on subscribe button. Thank you.